wrong, you'll hear this. After the 60 seconds is up, you'll hear this sound. If that timer sound starts while I'm still reading a question, I'll go ahead and finish it. You're still getting a chance to answer the question. Cool. All right, Nick, here we go. 60 seconds. In this game, the end is never the end. It's 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 never the end. Pass. In what game do you play as God? Not a God, but the God. Pass. This game continually has players looking at its game world from a different perspective and cracking codes while wearing a small red hat. Pass. This, game, this guy made a game with zombies in it. Hint, he also helped make Charlie murder. Pass. In what MMO will your survival probably end up depending on your ability to open a can of beans? Uh, Daisy? <laughs> yes. What game was the Samus Finale grand prize winner at the IGF last year? Uh, Journey? No. In Hotline Miami, what perk does Rasmus the Owl Mask grant you? Pass. What do all the crew members' names in BBBBB share in common? Pass. One octopus against the world. Just a family man trying to get by and maybe mow the lawn. He Pass. doesn't really have a name, but we know him as... Pass. <laughs> in what 2D space exploration game are strange worlds and planets procedurally generated? FTL? No. That is time. <laughs> Better than zero. The tough questions. Rayoga? Thanks, Arsenio. Give me a category. I was going to pick Indies, <laughs> but Montel, I think I'm going to go with the uh, 70s and 80s. 70s and 80s. I love the 70s and 80s. That's right, Jerry. Let's see how well Rayoga is with the 70s and 80s. <laughs> Alright, 60 seconds on the board. Atari supposedly developed a version of which coin op classic for use in training U.S. Army personnel? Top Gun? No. Uh, Which company was known for a handful of classic black and white vector graphics games in the late 70s, early 80s, such as Armor Attack, Space War, Rip Off, and Star Castle? Escape. No. Pass. Which well known uh, tech luminary once worked at Atari for $5 per hour? Uh, Steve Jobs. Yes. What year was the home version of Asteroids released for Atari? 1985? No. What was the in house name for the Atari 2600? Pass. What was the original title of the Atari game, Concentration? Although it was announced in 1984, what year was the Atari 7800 actually released? 1988. No. In what North American state did the infamous Atari video game landfill occur? Uh, repeat? No. Repeat. No, repeat. repeat. Question. In what North American state did the infamous Atari... Uh, Arizona. No. Uh, no. No. How many decades were Atari 2600 cartridges officially produced for? Two. No. What game is the biggest flop in Atari's history? Uh, E.T. What's that? E.T. That is correct. Nicely done. Well done. I was one off. Yeah, you were. I wondered. I was like one off. I just I knew it. Came out my mouth, and I was like one off is still wrong. <laughs> That's how it works. One off could make you lose the game. Yeah. All right. Next All right, Steve. Give me a the Gen Seven Heaven. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Gen Seven Heaven. Sixty seconds on the clock. Yes. Right now the score is one, two, and zero. What was the name of the expansion device for the Wii Remote designed to increase motion control accuracy? The Wii Plus. Can you be more specific? The Wii Plus. No, I'm sorry. The emergency day is a day associated with which franchise? Yes. On what channel did Microsoft debut the Xbox 360 in May of 2005? Yes. The cancelled accessory, the Vitality Sensor, was to be released for which system? Nintendo. Can you be more specific? Wii. Yes. This system was released in North America on November 19th, 2006. Yes. This system was released in North America on November 17th, 2006. Xbox. No. Over the Activision Blizzard CEO who openly criticized the yes. PS3. What company sued Nintendo in late 2006 claiming patent infringement over the design of their motion controller? Sony. No. Including Bluetooth connectivity, how many Wii modes can a single Wii console support simultaneously? Four. No. When were trophies added to Sony PS3 games? Yes. Sony helped to develop Blu-ray discs, a direct competitor to what other format? Uh, HD DVD. Yes. What was the first game to offer Xbox Live achievement to players while playing the game on non-Microsoft devices? Windows 5. No. Alright, so right now we've got a score of the Xbox One. It's a close one. MTV. Here we go. It was MTV. I actually have to be on that broadcast. I'm sitting on stage applauding. Or Xbox 360 during the launch. 
A uh, little crazy, I know. I moved away the, the television magic. It's not some kind of professional anything. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> so, no, actually, I've come a long way since then, trust me. Uh, here we go. So what we're going to do now is what I like, we call blur. It's the final round. It's worth five points. I'm going to read to you a detailed description of a video game. It is your job to tell me which video game I am describing. First person to buzz in and correctly identify the video game will get an additional five points added to their score, thus making them the winner. Here we go. Blur. Oh, thank you. A 3D platform game starring a gifted young psychic named Raz as he attends... Yes! Reality. Psychonauts! That's correct! You win! Finally! It's third time you charge! Come on back. <laughs> if you'd like to play, guys, please find our lovely 